was starving, and his peoples widened at this sight, but my bare flesh are on my bones. Sarah, you look nice today. You're up early. That's good. Are you all ready? Karen won't let me go. No. Kenny, hi. She's not going to school today. She told me to tell you she'll see you next week. Thanks for the paper. Roger, honey, do you want some eggs? What do you think? You know how important the next few weeks are to my business, or to me. Mm -hmm. And you know how much I love you. I need to take her. The boss is really into ginger, you know. Redheads. Should be featured in the spread. favor and we'll go to Kauai, just you and me, I promise. Do me a favor. Call in sick today and I'll have her back for Monday. It's easy. So easy. Yeah, she's African. Absolutely spectacular. Perfect skin. She'll be great for the campaign. I'll bring her. Soon. And it's double. She's worth it, trust me. Yeah, I got Ginger. <laughs>
South America, but we know they're tested here locally to make sure they uh, perform well. Just before your daughter Allison was found, she had made a call from that same payphone and then it went dead. Obviously, these perverts don't allow the girls to have a cell or anything like that. I'm sure you're gonna find a printer no. on the phone. No, no prints. The phone was clean. Nothing. No prints at all? There, there, Not even on the receiver? There was no receiver. What? They broke it off. Look, we got nothing. Talk about the trip. And why don't you pour us a drink? Hey, sir. So what's up? I, I waited for you last week, but you never came out. Well, I'll be off of work study today, so you'll be glad to know I'll be in class. All right, well, if that's not enough, here, I have you something. Fresh from mom's oven. safe to eat. Ooh. Well, I guess you don't. But you already ate some, so I guess you're gonna. Get out. We're going to continue our American Literature series with Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, one of my personal favorites. Glad you can make it today, Sarah. Super heady girl finally made it. <laughs> Does she even own anything else? Probably not. <laughs> Guys, that's enough. Thank you. If you could take your homework out and swap with your neighbor for peer review. Sarah. So, what did we learn from reading The Scarlet Letter? Anyone? Okay. Any 
meeny, miny, Laura. What is the theme of the book? It's about a single pregnant outcast lady who's outcast because she gets pregnant and she's not married. Okay, thank you, Laura. Can anyone expand on that? Kenny, your partner is? Sarah. Can you tell us about her assessment? Um, well, it's about inequality. Can you please explain what Sarah means? Well, this girl gets pregnant by a well-respected man and she's branded for it, but he's not. So I guess guys can just do whatever they want. Great point, Sarah. Can you expand on that argument? Sarah? I don't know. Come on, Sarah, does branding the girl only sound fair to you? I don't know. Maybe she had to do it. Some things just happen. Maybe she just watched it and went along with it. Maybe she deserved it. Hey, remember your final report on this is due next time? I mean it. Hey, Kenny. Can I talk to you for a minute? If you could sit down. Please? Yeah, Miss B. So, Kenny, something isn't right with Sarah. I don't really know her that well, so... Kenny, we're both two intelligent people here. Tell me what you know. When we were going to school, she didn't see me, but I saw her throw some lingerie and some heels. Kenny, in my work with the county, we're seeing more and more of this kind of abuse in the suburbs. Have you seen any kind of strange behavior in your neighborhood? No, ma'am, I haven't, but I need to go now. Just sit tight a while longer, okay? Hey, kid. Kenny, right? Listen, you did a good thing. No, really. And we found the clothes in the sewer, just like you said. And with our statement against the boyfriend, Roger, we can take action. And I promise you, we will get him. This feels awkward, but you did the right thing letting me know about the clothes. Where will she go now? The Safe Haven Honor Home. What about our therapy? County will be in to supervise it. That's pretty bleak. How do you know? From work study. Oh, I thought it was a horse farm, unbridled, right? Yeah, but Miss B, I mean, the Academy is a program for girls who have had it rough. They use horses for therapy. I mean, it's a day program. She couldn't stay there, but... Therapy is amazing. I see. Does it work? Really well. I mean, it's really hard to get into, but we should try. For Sarah? stay at Martha's house, but um, her mom's going to be back in the morning, and um, it's going to be really, really soon stop. <laughs> it's going to be really soon in the morning. Okay, I love you. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Just like your practice, baby. Am I going to get in trouble? Just do it.
Just a minute. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, are you Roger Donegal? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? You can come with me. I got a warrant for your arrest. You're being charged with engaging in the prostitution of a minor. What? And contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Okay, you need to come with me right now. I need to read that warrant. You need to come with me. Oh. All right. Let's go. Detective! Ah. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. I'm barely touching. I obviously don't know Get you're back, out. man. Get back. Ow. Let's go. Oh, man, that hurts. I'm barely touching. What? I, 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 ow, ow. Really? Really? Yeah. Ow. 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 You got a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Man, we need to back up. Let's go. Step inside, sir. Watch oh, your head. Oh, ah, oh, ow. Oh. Man, we need to back up. Call the police. Call the police. I am the Call police. Call the police. Hello, Sarah. Welcome to Safe Haven. Ms. Bodrum. Gerald. Thank you. We will get back to you as soon as Sarah has a chance to get checked in. You're going to like it here, Sarah. I promise. And you should be clear for school in a couple of days. We'll take it from here. I'd like to just make sure she gets settled in, OK? I'm sorry, it's a co-ed group home and we have very strict rules, Mrs. Bodron. Come on, Sarah. Right, well, why don't you come in and visit for a little while? But you need to be out by 11 sharp. Okay. Sarah, Mrs. Bodron. I'll only be a few minutes. Let's go, kiddo. What's going to happen to him? Roger's just gonna have to defend himself in court and... Weasel his way out of it? Sarah, none of this is fair or right or your fault or... In the Bible, there's a story of a guy, Job, who had it rough. And when Job's friends saw how great his suffering was, they put dust on their heads and said nothing for seven days and seven nights. Well, it's 10.53, so you have seven minutes. This is all your fault. 
Kenny. You coming? No. I thought you liked horses. Not really. Suit yourself. Hi, Pandora. Yeah. Let me see how you did, Brittany. Nice. Much better today. You could take her up to the barn. Okay. Uh, Kenny, good to see you. Stall five, please. Um, yes, Miss Felicity, real quick, I just wanted you to meet someone. Uh, you know Pamela. Hi. Yeah, hi. And this is my teacher, Miss Bodrin. Call me Melissa. Good to meet you, Melissa. And this is Felicity Clausen. She runs uh, Unbridled. Uh, how can I help you? Well, it's about our friend Sarah Miller. She's mm -hmm. just been moved to Gerald Honor Safe Haven. She's scared and confused, and Kenny here seems to think the horses have a cure. Oh, yeah. The horses don't cure anyone. Oh, I didn't mean to. I, and unfortunately, I'm sorry. We don't. We're full. I'm truly sorry about that. Kenny, you should ask. There are several other very effective programs that we can look into. Well, that's that. No, ma'am. No? No, we'll get her in. Rhonda, hey, how are you? It seems like it was just yesterday that you and Sebastian were out here scraping the fences. Oh, that's wonderful news. Is it a boy, girl? Okay. Here, let me give you a number. I want you to give the Morning Center a call and schedule a free ultrasound and a healthy baby screening. Okay? How's things? Yeah, I know. I've been there. You need to build on a solid foundation. The most important thing for kids is that they see that you are in love. Promise me this. If your marriage is ever in trouble, I want you to look up Mort Fertel. Let him help you get back on track. He's the best. All right. <laughs> Talk soon. Hi. This is my fault, Felicity. And I'm truly sorry, but if this program really works, it could save her life. And unfortunately, we're full. I have an awful lot of work to do. I mean, you could check back in a few weeks. I mean, 
things might change. Miss Felicity, there must be a way. No one does what you just did. Dreamer is deeply wounded. What happened to him? Starved, beaten. He was betrayed. He kicked down the stall and then was hit by a truck. He has been impossible to place with any of our students. That's when tough hurts. I want him to be mine. This isn't going to be easy. There's no bailing out if you can't hack it in a few weeks. He needs someone that's consistent. Even if you're sick and your entire world is crashing around you. You think you can do that? Yes. Tell your transport you're staying. Thank you. Uh, the wheelbarrow's outside. Someone show her what to do in the paddock. Yeah. Since when do we make a caller without backup? What were you thinking? Now someone's posted a lovely YouTube video? I want your badge and your gun on my desk by morning. You, okay, what, what, what am I supposed to do now? County needs rehab coaches. Denton's your guy. Look, I know Allison's your baby. You let your emotions get involved, and now the girl's trail is three months cold. Get your head in the game, then we'll talk. Hi ladies, my name is Cassie Davis and I'm the equine director here. Um, a lot of these horses have a difficult time trusting humans, so that's where you come in. Because of your help, these horses can learn how to trust again. Our five key pillars are writing, scholastic, vocational, therapy, and mentorship. You will gain knowledge and develop behaviors that are necessary for you to pursue the things that are important to you. Whatever that looks like. It could be your career, um, going to college, having healthy and good relationships, maybe starting a family. Yeah, how long does it take to get all that, huh? Well, most of the girls stay for high school, but we can usually tell within six weeks whether or not the program is going to be beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the girls wash out. Don't worry, we're going to start with small tasks and then progressively work you towards more difficult tasks with the horses, with people, and ultimately yourselves. So, let me introduce to you Felicity Clausen, our director. Thank you, Cassie. 
How are you today, ladies? Good. Lindsay! Hey. Oh, I'm so glad you're it's here. It's so awesome to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, oh I had to get out of that track, have a nice stretch. You should have seen how many donuts I ate on that drive. Oh, don't worry. We all have our fair share of road trip food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a favor to ask you. I totally forgot to bring the gastra. Do you have any that I could borrow? But it's got to be Omega Alpha. Oh, totally. We have plenty. Just take whatever you need. That's awesome. Thank you so much. What do you want me to talk about today? I don't know. Maybe your award-winning championship ways. <laughs> you're too nice. <gasps> don't worry. The girls are just excited that you're here. Do you want to meet them? Sure, yeah. They're this way? Yep. Okay. I'm just finishing up some stuff. No matter what you've been through, you can overcome it. You'll be paired with a rescued horse who will become your friend and your confidant. You're also going to have various barn chores like cleaning and feeding and caring for the horses. And once your barn chores are finished, you'll be able to spend more time with your horse. Mm -hmm. You're expected to maintain and improve your grades, be honest and respectful mm -hmm. to everyone, or you will not last in this program. Ladies, welcome to the herd. Now, since some of you listened, mm -hmm. I would like to introduce to you our Natural Horsemanship Championship Freestyle, Lindsay Partridge and her beautiful horse, Soar. Hey girls, this is Soar. She won the freestyle and the trail competition and then won the overall title of America's mm -hmm. Most Wanted Thoroughbred. I wanna share with you how I retrained this racehorse to be the calm and connected partner that she is. So who knows what harmony horsemanship means? Harmony horsemanship means learning to understand yourself, your horse, and the language that connects you. Once we can be calm, confident, and communication focused, we can learn to connect and get in balance with the horse, and then we can learn to ride unbridled. Karen, the group home is fine. How's Unburgled Riding Academy? Unbridled. And the orientation was fine. The other girls are fine. I'm fine. Honey, I miss you awful bad. I'm gonna get things together, I promise. Yeah, okay, I gotta go, okay? Bye. Hey, Sarah, come and watch. Uh, can I change first, Miss Felicity? Oh, no. You gotta get used to that. See what the girls are doing? They are talking to the horses to build their trust. It's the second phase. Um, and what's the first phase? It's all over your clothes, sweetie. How's the relationship, Stacy? <sighs> Working on it. Are you connecting? Why not? Because I had a big fight with my mom this morning and I'm still mad about it. They know. So why don't you tell him about it? You have to be open. Cassie, what's Cameron's goal? To focus on her breathing and stay calm. How's that going, Cameron? <laughs> well, I feel a lot less anxious, so uh, much better than yesterday. Outstanding work. <laughs> Mary, how's Malachi today? <laughs> He's not actually biting me today, but I'm onto his tricks. So it's better than yesterday. It's good. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> What's so funny, Nanita? What, you think you can do better? Oh, you think I'm funny? Mary, we all laughed. I laughed. 
Sarah might have the same trouble as you. So I want you to get with her and show her what we do here. It's Felicity! Mary, do you want a chip? We will be a team. That girl, she's covered in stuff, All right? It's disgusting. You were covered in it too on your first day, okay? You remember that? Miss Felicity, she hasn't said a word to us. Why should we talk to her? Stacy, let's think about why we would feel for a new horse, but not a new girl, okay? Well, maybe she just isn't ready. Right, Miss Felicity? Yeah, because horses are people too. All right, girls. Come on, uh, let's get changed for group. Thanks. So, uh, are we having fun yet? No. You ready to pack it in? Like what? For the day or for the whole thing? Whichever. <laughs> Bring extra clothes next time. Yeah. Welcome to my world, Nanita. Look, nobody ever helps me, all right? But Miss Felicity says we're supposed to. So here you go. You bet on Seabiscuit in the fourth race. <laughs> all right, look. I don't got much horsey wisdom, but um, this usually helps me through. Do you know what to do with it? <laughs> no. Girl, give it to your horse. Thanks for the shirt. Of course. You can have a seat. You don't have a pet. 
pen and paper. Can somebody please offer Sarah a piece of paper? We have a new young lady joining us today, as you've seen. Her name is Sarah, and she's coming to us from Safe Haven Honor Home. Can everybody please say hi to Sarah? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Something funny, Mary? Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Nothing right now. That's fine. Mary, how about you? How has your week been different? Well, I'm still the main champ in the ring. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. How about school? How's science going? Better. Yeah, I mean, I got a C plus on the test, so. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, anything. Mary, that is significant improvement. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, you know, it ain't no A, but yeah, I guess it is pretty good, huh? Well, maybe next time Claire can help you study and you'll get that A, okay? Yeah. The other things, have you been eating okay? Private. Herd only. Everyone here is part of the herd, Mary. No, they ain't. Aren't. Look, I don't know nothing about her. All right? She's got no right to know about me. All right. Fine. Stacy, how about you? Have you talked to your mom? No. Did you send her the letter you were working on? No. Okay. It's really important to say you're sorry, especially to the people that you love and especially after an incident. So maybe they can get working on that and send it to her this week? Stacy, look, it's not like you have to forgive her, you know? Just tell her you're sorry. Maybe she ain't sorry. Right? Okay, well, so why don't you just back off? Let's let Stacy speak for herself, okay? <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll come back to that. I feel bad about what I did. I scared her. I scared myself. She made me feel ugly. Let's order a sausage pizza. Sounds good. May I help you? Hi. Um, uh, yes, I, I, I have this restraining order. Is this where the arrested people are kept? No, the jail is on Oak Street. Okay, this form needs to be completely filled out with your date of birth.
the horse feels your pain. So I want you to get in close to him and hold him as if you're hugging him. Like this? Nice. Now let's bring all of that energy and direct it forward. Ready? And... <sighs> that he did something well. When the horse starts to chew and lick his lips, it is him processing that he's discovered something, like a Shazam moment. Good. Here we go. Now we're going to take him down. And we're going to bring him his nose down by bringing the direction of the energy down. Good. Okay, stand up. Connect. Fold. And bring him down. Good work. So, Stacy, I know how you feel nervous. We in life, we feel nervous. But he is trustworthy, so I want you to talk with him. What do I say? The pain that you feel, <laughs> the struggle that you're going through, in your mind, communicate that with him. I guess I'm hurting today. that you're listening. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go, focus, focus. I'm gonna count to three and it's gonna be a one, two, three, fall. Ready? So fall on fall. Here we go. <laughs> one, two, three, and fall. I actually grew up on a farm. It's a lot of hard work. Do you like it? It's okay. I shovel a lot. Oh yeah? Snow? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Felicity said if I get here early enough, I could try to mount streamer today. Oh, that's exciting. I remember my first time riding a horse. I was about 12. You go, girl. Sarah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, slow down, Sarah. Come on. You said I can mount him today. In theory, yes, but we we can't force anything. Well, tell him that I've been picking up after him for weeks. I've done all my homework on time, and I even got here really early. What am I doing wrong? Maybe you're trying too hard. See, horses teach us patience. <sighs> Almost as much as humans. Hey, ladies. <laughs> So, who's got something today? Anybody? I do. Go for it, Ambrosia. Well, my grand's cancer came back, and 
I wanted to see her before she went into treatment, but my social worker said it wasn't a good idea as long as my uncle's still there. So I just don't want her to think that I don't care, you know? So can we just pray for my grand? Yeah, sure, hon. We'll pray for a full recovery and that she knows how much you love her and that you do care even though you can't be there. I mean, it's not her fault, you know. I never really told her about what happened with Uncle Phil. Your gran is a strong woman. She can beat this. She's going to beat this. I really believe that God will carry you both through it. OK, that's a lie. And you know it. If your granny loved you so much, she should have known, and she would have stopped it. Sarah, that's a chip. You don't have to participate, but you do have to be respectful. Sorry. I have chores. I don't need group therapy. Okay, I just need something real. All the girls just laugh at me and whisper. Well, I was kind of mean. I lost my temper. Felicity's nice. I really appreciate her trying. Cassie and Ambrosia, too. They know what it's like. So do you. Hey, handsome. I just want to let you know that I love you. I'm sorry for all your pain. Girl dreamer, okay? I trust you. <sighs> All right, looks like we got everybody. Let's uh, go ahead and have a seat. So have a seat, it's real simple, people. The sooner you sit down and we get started, the sooner I can get going, the sooner I can get done, and the sooner you can get your kids back. Maybe. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Detective Mitchell Sangren. I'm moonlight here because I have the knowledge, expertise, and degrees to do so. but mostly because I enjoy it. So that's why I'm here. What about administratively? You all are here to comply with your court-mandated parenting classes. You all have been deemed by the state as unfit to care for your children of dependents. Does that wake you up? It's no excuse, people. It's no excuse. The most important thing in your life should be your children. That's lesson number one. From now on, the most important thing, priority number one in your life is your kids. You guys understand? You get it? What, what, you, hey, what's your name? Your name, ma'am. 
Karen. Karen. Okay, Karen. Do you expect any of us to feel sorry for you? Well, good, Karen. Because the only person that we feel sorry for in this room is your... My daughter. Your daughter. So let's take the focus off ourselves for a moment and let's focus on Sarah. God, if you're there, you gotta keep me safe. And find me a home. I know what's going on, okay? I need your help. Raja, I just wanted to say sorry about what I said in group. It's okay. okay. Don't worry about it. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. Here, hold on. She's doing better. I think she likes living alone. Your dad's gone? Um, yeah. He died when I was seven in Afghanistan. I'm sorry. My dad's a junkie. <laughs> I haven't really seen him since I was like two or something. Is your aunt Gran coming? Yeah, she is. Oh, she's doing good now, thankfully. She's losing all of her hair, but <laughs> she likes wearing wigs anyway, so. My pop pop's coming too. You'll like him. He's, he's kind of funny in a corny sort of way. <laughs> he used to be in the war, Vietnam, so. All right, ladies, everyone's okay. starting to arrive, so let's have a time to meet them. Come on.
Yeah, right. Excuse me, what are you doing? Hi, Jim. Roger. Good to see you, pal. Karen changed the locks. You're not supposed to be here. Jim, look. You know, Karen gave me a new set of keys. She said it's okay to grab some of my stuff, but she's delayed. You know, I had to take her daughter to that horse thing. Well, how did you know about that? I'm the gatekeeper, Jim. It's my business to know all of it. Well, if Becky knew I was speaking to you, she'd kill me. She's such a love. You know, Jimmy, I remember the uh, entertainment for your buddy's bachelor party. It'd be a shame if that wound up on the web, huh, cowboy? We gotta go in on Denim, last pair of clean skivvies. <laughs> skivvies? Yeah, skivvies. Guys gotta have clean skivvies. Becky will be back soon. I'll be long gone, buddy boy. Hey, Jimmy, when all this blows over, me and you a ball game, huh? Your treat. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Hi, honey. Does he do tricks? Well, it's a horse, Karen. Oh. Hi. <laughs> oh. What's wrong, sweetie? You smell like cookies. Yeah, I made some mint chocolate chip, your favorite. Oh, I left him in the car. Should I go grab him? Um, no, 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 no cookies, please. I'm trying to kill a sweet tooth. Ever heard of freshman 15? It's just your sober. Yeah. One month is Friday. That's great. Uh, and uh, I'm in parenting classes, too. The guy who runs it's kind of scary, but... <laughs> Well, I think I'll be able to bring you home soon. Won't that be great? Oh, hi. Uh, well, I'll let you two talk for a while. Hey. Hey. Wanna go for a walk or something? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know, dreamer. You can't hate me now. You know that, right? Why don't you say that? I don't know. It's kind of my fault, like you said in the text. Well, it is kind of your fault. But it was worse before, so. Give a round of applause for Aaron Kelso, last year's Unbridled Girl of the Year.
Now, please welcome national champions of the Natural Horsemanship Freestyle Competition, Lindsay Partridge and Soar, the Horse with Wings. How's it going with Dreamer? <laughs> I want to do that. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sure you will. So, yeah, like I was saying, miracles happen here all the time. It's going to be a good place for you. Thank you for bringing her. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Felicity tells me that your grades are better and that you're doing really well with the horse. Dreamer. Dreamer. <laughs> yeah, um, he's pretty cool. I'm doing everything I can to get right. I even have a new job. I'm a paralegal now. You're doing so great, Sarah. I will bring you home as soon as I possibly can. You know that, right? And I, I got a restraining order. Roger won't bother us ever again, I promise. I love you, sweetheart. Hey. Your mom seems happy. Yeah, she's doing better. You want to help me clean up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Why don't you go put a jacket on? It's cold out here. It always amazes me how much the parents make a bigger mess than even you girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, parents are good at making messes, that's for sure. Uh, so I heard your mom get a new job. Oh, sorry to eavesdrop. It's a bad habit of mine, one of many. <laughs> yeah. People like you are pretty much born perfect. So I'm pretty sure you never made a mistake your entire life. <laughs> you seriously believe that? We all do. Everyone says that you're this champion rider who had this deep calling to give it all up to rehabilitate losers like me and him. Don't say losers. Come here, Sarah. What I'm about to say is 
is awkward. It's something I don't normally tell people because it's pretty embarrassing. We grew up in a trailer park until I was 15. My father died when I was 11. My mom worked three jobs just to feed my brothers and me. And one day my oldest brother realized that boys thought I was pretty. And that they would pay for I don't know if my mom ever really knew what was going on, but the truth was, she was never there. <sighs> I'm sorry. And she, she spent the money and she never once asked where it came from. Did your brother go to jail? No. The other did my mom. Without my testimony, there wasn't enough to prove anything. And it wasn't as if the Johns were lining up to tell their story. but there was enough evidence to get me awarded to the state. And that's how I came here. What? Yep. Beatrice Dolan, she used to run this place. Old and crotchety. <laughs> yeah, but you knew she cared. And I told myself and God that if I survived, I'd come back here, work with girls. And here we are. Wow. So I came home from work to find my son up on the garage. I get out of the car, there's a trampoline set up outside the fence to the pool. Now, when I looked at him, I knew that there was no way that if he jumped, he was going to hit that pool. It would have been cement. So, instead of getting mad, I instructed him to learn more mathematics and physics. Sorry, ma'am, you're late. I can't give you credit for tonight. What? Wait, I... I'm five minutes late. I mean, can't you let it pass this one time? I'm sorry, it's the rules. But I just came from Parents' Day at my daughter's therapy group. That's great. I hope she's doing well. But you're now wasting our time. Are you serious? You can participate, but you won't get credit for today. Unbelievable. People, listen. This isn't about you. We are here to talk about our Roger? Roger?
When you're feeling ready, ladies, ask your horses to trot. Ease into it, Cameron. Whoa, I think I ate too much for this ride. <laughs> Good boy. It's good. Oh. Don't, don't crowd each other. Make sure you're mindful of the space between your horses. Good. And turn Petey over here on the Good job. Very nice, Very nice. All right, bring it in. Hey, where's Mary? Um, I don't know. Maybe she's doing her hair or something. Cassie, help! That's all for today, ladies. Run with me. Thanks for meeting with me. Yeah, no problem. I want to get this guy. Yeah. And I have a plan. Okay. I think we should use Karen to try. Well, she's already working with us. All right. Look, kid. We don't have a lot of time. All right. What we got? Here she comes. Sarah. Go ahead. Tell him. I overheard Roger before we went on that trip. He was on the phone and he mentioned something about an African. He said absolutely spectacular with perfect skin. That's Allison. Well, he didn't say a name. Doesn't matter. She's still alive. I know it. Do you think Allison is even alive? I really hope so. How's Mary? She lost a lot of blood, but Felicity says she's gonna be okay. It's good to hear. Yeah. I don't know if she's coming back or not, though. She was kind of mean to you, wasn't she? Yeah. She was. She's part of my herd. What? Herding horses, buck and kick. Sometimes freedom does come. It's pretty heavy. When did you get so dreamy? <laughs> Just stop talking, okay? 
got a plan. Okay. Steel trap. Karen? Are you almost done with that transcript? Uh, y yes, it'll be just a minute. Uh, what do we say about the glasses? I'm sorry, Miss Sandler. Look, I have a new client coming in a few minutes. Can you please hurry? Yes, ma'am. Take your time, my love. Roger. Roger. Hey, baby. Roger, what are you doing here? How did, how did you find me? Came to see my attorney. I got a little bit of trouble. She's the best. You can't be here. You have to go. Oh, no. I can go if you want me to. Or... What is it? No. <laughs> Let's open it and find out. Good to see you, Karen. Hello, Karen. I'm Gerald Honor, director of Safe Haven. I'm excited about the things I've heard about Sarah at the Academy and all you've done with your classes. Oh. Bravo, Karen. Thank you. So, I'm going to go find Sarah. We've told her what today is about. And she's... She's what? Happy, overjoyed. Of course, she's coming home. This is her decision, Karen. And then there's still the issue of Roger. No, I, I, I've already fixed that. Roger is not going to bother us ever again. Am I in trouble? No, baby. You're coming home tonight. Your mother's filed for custody. And if everything goes well, then it could be permanent. What do you think about that, Sarah? You still have a say in all of this. No one's going to force you to go back home. Oh, wait a minute. That's not helping. She's drinking again. Those are her hangover glasses. No. So either go back there and wait for Roger to show up, or I continue living at Safe Haven. That really stinks. What would you all do? Well, I guess I'd pick the place I felt the most safe. No matter what? Right now? Focus on Sarah. She knows it's not safe. Oh, baby, come on. You know what he did to me, Karen. Look what he's done to you.
I want to stay at the group home and continue my lessons at the academy. No, 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 Sarah. Look at me. What are you saying? Sarah, please, I need you. I had needs too, Karen. Sarah! I'm sorry. You're sorry? I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> for you. I'm gonna get a quick pick real quick. Let me just pick some. Hey, boy. Come on. There you go. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay, come on, let's go.
Let's start with me, Dreamer. I see you. I see you. You scream. I shoot your horse. Give me your phone. Cell phone. Come on. Good looking horse. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Stop right there. Share the class. <laughs> Such a sweetie pie. Karen, it's Mitchell. What's wrong with you? Oh, I, I, I tried to warn you. I, I'm sorry. He knocked me out. He's gone. I'm so sorry. Are you kidding me?
So, anybody else hurt? Let's go. Let's go right now. Let's go. Let's go. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Ah. Ah, you do those things too tight. Let's go. Stay, stay right there. She's just drugged up. Allison. Oh, sweetie, are you okay? Oh. Yes, yes, sweetie. Come here. Come here. Can you help me with the door? Yeah, I'll get the door. I'll get the door. This is Detective Singer. I need an ambulance at 40 East Flowers. I got a crash, multiple injuries. I need an ambulance right now. forever. You haven't got the guts. I own you. Sarah? Sarah, what are you doing? Go away, Kenny. Sarah, don't do this. Sarah, no, 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 Sarah. Sarah, put the gun down. Leave me alone! Sarah, Please don't do this, Sarah. It's okay. Sarah, it is okay. Let me take care of it, okay? Put the gun down, Sarah. I said go away! There are others! Don't move! There are other girls. We need him. There are other girls. Think about the other girls you can help. Put the gun down, Sarah. He's not worth this. Sarah, I know how you feel. Drop the gun. Tell me, uh, what do you feed Dreamer? Um, Kenny, I want to say thank you for bringing Sarah. Yeah. Cookies. Okay, cookies. Little, um, little cookies. So, Allison, you'll be back in school next semester? That's really great. Yeah, that's wonderful. This will be a safe place for you. If you're a survivor, we're here anytime you want to talk about your story. 
Do you ride horses? <laughs> I don't know. They are awfully big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm glad it's over. Done with him. And done with the bottle, too. You protected me. And looked out for me, Mom. Oh, Sarah, baby. All I ever wanted to do was save you. I... I just couldn't figure out how. He told me over text that if he testified, that we'll be sorry. But just in case you're wondering, we are going to put him away. Forever. Yes. We are. And we'll both be coming home for the first time. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sarah, you want to go for a walk? Yes. <laughs> to ride him again. The vet said he'll be good as new in about six weeks. Well, you're gonna need alternate transportation until then. This guy will work as a good substitute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the hooves of horses are the sources of life which forces us to... What do we say about the mouth? you to see this I don't want you to see this step into the parlor we'll laugh about the weather how do you hide the earth from the sun why pretend when it 
seems already done I'd like to sweep myself under the rug But you always find me out Being loved is a hard thing to take It's a hard i uh -huh.